Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown. It is the morning of day six and as always the first thing I want to do is spend these skill points that we have. So I'm going to go into Sexual Tyrannosaurus again and then Minor 69er again, Mother Load again and then let's throw a point into Fortitude. Start pumping that up. All right, let's roll. I will show you the progress we're making on the floor of the prison. Uh, I mean, we're, we're making our way. Still a lot more left to do, obviously, but we'll get there a little at a time. We'll do some more work to that later. For now, let's get a move on. Just want to have a nice, chill day today. We're going to explore our town, uh, do some looting. Uh, let me throw the gas in there. Whoops, bring our bandages down to our tool belt. Uh, first thing I want to do, actually, is run across the street to the girls' club, check the vending machine. Hey, fire guy, come over here. I'll kill you in a second. Let me check the vending machine first. Uh, rock busters, I'll buy those. That's it. Alright, let's deal with this asshole. And then, like I said, we're just gonna cruise around town. And find some places to loot. And then get home at a reasonable hour. Uh, so we can continue working on the prison floor as we wait for the horde to show up. Let's do this mobile home, what the hell. I like quick, easy raids. You never know what you can find, and we'll be in and out of this place in no time. Search this car first. Oh shit, we got a deer in the background. All right, take that gunpowder. Let's get some meat. Oh, <laughs> she tried to jump to avoid my shot. This ain't fucking Fortnite, deer. Steel sledgehammer parts, I'll take those and sell those. Not interested in crafting a sledgehammer in this series. Uh, unless we can happen to find a trader in this town, I'll sell them tomorrow. That's when I'm going to head back to Trader Jen's because that's when her inventory restocks. Day 7. Got some potato plants right here. Let's harvest them. What the hell? Maybe one day I'll plant a garden. Probably not. But, hey, at least we'll have some potatoes, right? Let's dig up this cement. Can you make baked potatoes? I don't even know. I think you can, like, I'm pretty sure in Darkness Falls you can make baked potatoes, but I'm not sure if that is a recipe here in vanilla. Um, oh, hey, fire guy. What are you doing? Dying? Yeah, you and everyone else. All right, we picked up these running shoes. They give you a little bit of cold resist, heat resist, and 20% uh, stamina regen when running. So I'm gonna hold on to those and that t-shirt. In case we uh, venture out into the desert. How the hell do I get in this place? Oh, here we go. I always forget you can climb up these uh, things right here. Oh, there's a hatch, but let's take apart this AC unit first. Whoops. Oh, hey there, backpack. Take it. All right. Let's get a gun out. Hop down here. Oh, hey, Big Mama. Back up. This room ain't big enough for the two of us. So you gotta go. Is that it? Seems that way. It's a weapons bag over there. All right, let's check this uh, bathroom first. Murky water. Pipes. That's it. I'll take this radiator apart. Uh, level 1 iron sledgehammer. Let's just take all that stuff for now. What does that sell for? 22 bucks. I'm just going to scrap that for the iron. I'll scrap the stone spear. And uh, let's repair the knuckle wraps. Maybe they'll sell for a bit more. Eh, a little bit of ammo. It's not bad. All right. Let's get out of here. Um... I don't feel like pulling my way up. Let's just bust out the door. All right, quick house raid. I mean, it's only 7.30. We'll have plenty of time left to continue checking out the rest of this town. Huh, oh, battery and some ammo. Nitrate powder, that just leads to outside. Let's close that door and see what we got. Behind these wooden panels. Box. Ooh, and a working stiff tools crate. Nothing in there. Let's pop this open. Ooh, motor tool parts. Level 6 shovel that I just dropped on the floor. Pick that up. 
Scrap the level 4, bring the level 6 down, repair it. Looking good. Here we go. Got a Kenny over there, a Kenny over here. Come on, Kennys. There we go. And for anybody that's new and doesn't know why I call that dude Kenny, it's because he looks like Ken from Ken and Barbie if Barbie broke up with Ken and Ken started smoking meth every day. Closet right here. Let's pop it open. Ladder. Oh, there's a little... uh dungeon underneath this place. Now I remember this POI. I didn't recognize it at first, but I definitely remember remember it now after seeing that. Oh, <laughs> there goes that guy. Oh yeah, the floor gives out right here as well. Well, he's still alive down there. We'll deal with him at some point. Oh, I still hear that dude down there. There might be more down there as well, but uh, let's go upstairs first. We'll worry about that cave down there when we're done up here. Jeez, lady. Cover up. This is a family channel. Let's get back in here. Got some cobblestone we can dig up. And it looks like there's something behind this stuff right here. Yeah, let's knock these boxes out of the way. And we got a little hidden room. Secret stash. Some ammo, nice. Alright, let's finish uh, looting the rooms up here. And then we'll go check that uh, cave down below the house. No zombies in here. There's a ladder up to the attic, though. Let's search this. Oh, bandana. We don't have anything on our face, right? Nope, let's throw that on. I'd like to get a cigar, but we either have to find one or find the recipe to craft one. Iron spear schematic, I'll read that. Nothing. Nothing. Here we go, we're waking him up. Lay down. I think there's another one besides these two. Yep, right here. Back up. All right, Thick. Oh, shit. Why do I always have a blunderbuss that isn't loaded? Oh, some decent gloves. Nice, because we're currently wearing some shitty padded ones. Let's take those off, take the modifier out of them. Put that modifier on the level 6, along with this modifier. Alright, throw those on. Alright, let's keep it moving. 10.30 in the morning, plenty of time. To do some more looting and exploring. Oh shit, look at this. There's a traitor. This is uh, Trader Wrecked. This old man. Let's go see him. We got anything in the bike that we want to sell? Um, no. Let's just go see what he's got. I got a few things on me that we could sell. Let's check his vending machine first. Hi, candy. I'll take it. And skull crushers. I'll take that as well. well let's loot his place first before we go see him. Ah, we are out of space. Throw the stone there, take the cement. Let's see what else we got. Empty can. Uh, I want that honey. Let's put the glass in there, take the honey. That's it for in here. Got a couple of lockers. Um, ooh, the goth boots sell for 50 bucks. I'll eat the food. 
Scrap the can and take the boots. An extra 50 bucks we can get from Wrecked. Oh, there we go. All right. Um, again, I'll eat this food. Scrap the can and take the boots. And it sounds like we got a wolf outside. So we'll see if we can uh, deal with that thing before leaving. Well, there it is. Let's try not to fall. See if we can take it out with uh, some arrows. Hey, uh, where are you going? Nah, he'll be back. Here he comes. Lead the shot. No, nope. damn it. All right, let's hit him here. And there he goes again. Ah, we'll just get him when we leave. Hey, what's up, old man? Yep, what do you Let's want? see, I got some stuff I can sell you. Let's bring the level 4 blunderbuss down, sell them the level 3. I don't want to sell them those uh, iron boots until I repair them. Um... Okay. I don't want to sell them that wrench until I repair it also, so I think that's about it. Alright, let's see what you got here, Wrecked. Da, da, da. Nah, I'm not gonna buy repair kits. I can just craft repair kits. Oh, mining helmet that comes with a helmet light mod. Okay, we're definitely buying that. Let's uh, see what else he's got, though. Pump shotgun schematic. Oh, pump shotgun. Duh. It's only a level one, but it's only 800 coin. Alright, let's get the pump shotgun. And the mining helmet with the helmet light mod in it. No, let and the uh, I think that's it. Let's out. take a job. Closest one is this fetch quest. Let's do it. It's a deal. All right. See you in a little bit, Wrecked. Let's uh, take this helmet light mod out of the mining helmet and put it in our football helmet. We'll take this fleece liner mod out. And actually, I'll put the fleece liner mod in the mining helmet. And sell it right back to this dude. Hey, uh, wrecked. I forgot. I got this to sell you. Thanks, Can buddy. I reach his safe? Nope. Too far away. All right, let's bring this pump shotgun down. Go deal with that wolf. Okay, let's go do this fetch quest, then we'll go get our reward from Wrecked, and then we'll come home uh, and work on the floor of the prison until the Horde shows up. Here we are, our second mobile home for the day. This one's a little bit bigger than the first one. Let's get up this way here. Okay. Search this trash. I'm sure we got a bird up here. Some lockpicks. There's the bird. All right, let's go. I guess we could put the shotgun away. No sense in wasting ammo. Come on out of that closet. No reason to stay in the closet when I'm around. I don't judge people for who they love. Water. Got a sports bag up here. Come on. Here we go. Bone knife. I'll scrap that. And use the bone to repair my bone knife. There we go. Ditch those other two. Fuck them. All right. I'll grab the plant. Grab that stuff. Nothing in there. Okay. Nightstand. Uh, letter jacket. That sells for a decent amount. Money. Another plant. Here we go. Damn, ammo and steroids in a purse. Wouldn't want to mess with that chick. Antibiotic, that's good. Machine gunner book that we already know. Uh, improved fittings mod schematic, we'll read that. Let's read this challenge. Hey there, zombie food. 
Kill some zombie football players. Okay, I'll accept that. Let's see what we got in here. Tiny little bedroom. Glass jars, and here's the satchel. Bam, job done. But let's finish looting this place. Then we'll get out of here, go see Wrecked. Get our reward. Get home. And get some work done before the fight. Oh, look at that. Level 1 pistol in the toilet. Very nice. Make use of that tonight. Oh, soldier zombie. eyes oh, waking up. Get out of here, hazmat dude. Bing. Bing. And bam, bitch. All right. Easy peasy. Oh, level 6 blunderbuss. I was almost expecting to see a pump shotgun in there since we just bought one. And there's another level 6. Let's bring both of these level 6s down. I'm going to leave the flashlight mod in this blunderbuss. We'll just sell it with it on there. We don't need a flashlight mod for our guns now that we have a helmet light mod. Alright. We're pretty much done here. Hey, what's up, Wrecked? Make it snappy. I gotta take a crap. Oh, okay. I'll try and be quick here. Uh, I'm gonna go with the 9mm. And, uh, I'll take another job, but we won't be doing that until the next episode. Alright, Wrecked, you go take your shit. I'm getting out of here. Um, yeah, let's just get home, unload this stuff, and then we'll work on the prison floor until the horde shows up. That job... Uh, down the road there. We'll do that in the next episode. And uh, both Trader Wrecked and Trader Jen's inventory resets tomorrow. So we'll obviously be going back to see Trader Wrecked after we do this job. But we'll also go see Trader Jen tomorrow as well. Okay, so I put an iron door in right here to deter the zombies from coming this way because I fear that if zombies do spawn inside the prison, right, they might want to kind of run through our home, come through that way, and then come down this corridor and drop in on top of us. That's why I put the iron door at the end there, and that's why I put uh, some hatches right here. That should deter them from wanting to do that. And I brought uh, this staircase down instead of the uh, ladder that was here. This way, if they do break through at the bottom here, we can use the staircase and kind of lead them up uh, to, to the, where the bridge is. So uh, that's my thinking with, with all that's going on. So with everything in place, we should be able to just hold the horde down within this room. But if something happens, then we have multiple ways to kind of get out and uh, lead the zombies somewhere else. So, we'll just see what happens. It's only day six. Not too worried about it. We ate the Skull Crushers, drank the Mega Crush, and we got a dog who's first up at the window. Fuck off, dog.
that dog's dead. Quite a few dogs showing up tonight. Pretty big horde, but about as big as I expected. I mean, hey, it's night six, double XP. We've already fought one horde already. I definitely was expecting a fairly large horde. But man, this is gonna get crazy. Considering, it, you know, it's pretty much, we're going into day seven and we've got another horde coming up on day nine. And the only thing I've done to this base so far is, you know, put in about not even a quarter of the floor. And then we got this little room right here that we're holding down tonight, but I don't think it's gonna last for much longer. So in the days to come, we definitely need to be working on uh, an improvement either to this room here or start building some sort of base. Now, if we're gonna use this entire prison as our base, we need to start knocking out the concrete steps. So I was hoping that we would have a pickaxe by now so we can start doing that. Here we go. I don't know if the zombies are kind of caught up on the uh, outside walls or what. It seems like they're all coming to this window now, so we should be good. Uh, some zombies obviously spawned inside the prison, but we've taken care of them. And it uh, looks like my iron door and the hatches did work because they just came to the other windows. They weren't trying to run around and drop in on us, so that's good. Oh, thanks, buddy. That fucking loot bag was starting to piss me off. I was about to loot it just to get it out of the way. Uh, okay. I hear more. I'm not sure what they're beating on. Let's go see if we can get a look at what's going on. Oh, there they are. Some must have spawned in that car lot, and they're trying to break through that fence. It seems like we're clear out here. Let me set up a little staircase right here. I guess we need to run back up here real quick. Let's deal with these fools. All right, and that should be it. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and eat this eye candy, even though there aren't that many loot bags about. Fuck it. We'll always find uh, some more eye candy. It's not a big deal. Look at that. Some food, some ammo. Finally, a hunting knife so we can get rid of these bone knives. Let's grab these uh, loot bags. And there's a couple inside that fell through the window. Well, not much going on in these, but that's all right. Like I said, we'll find more eye candy, and oh shit, it sounds like there's another zombie. Inside this place? Let's see. Yeah, right here. I wonder if she just spawned in, or if she's been stuck in here. Either way. She's dead now, alright. Couple more loot bags right here. Some more shotgun shells, food, and a level 1 axe, which I will either sell or scrap, and that's it. Not a bad night. I'll take it. Honestly, I think we can do another Horde Knight, maybe even two, with the exact same setup, but I'd like to switch things up here. Um, if not by night nine, then definitely by night 12. Ah, oh, here we go. It's a crawler. Hey, stop beating on my base. Damn, he broke one of these blocks. Well, bastard. All right, let's repair this. All right, guys, well, I'm going to continue working on the floor here, digging it up, getting some flagstone blocks crafted and put down, and uh, we'll pick things up here on the morning of day seven. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.